a little after 5 a.m. And it will probably be an uneventful sunrise because there's hardly any clouds. So that means it might be one of those that just pop up all of a sudden. But I'm going to walk down there and check it out. So I've already seen a few, or I should say I heard a few, fishing boats go out. They tend to come out of Hampton Harbor pretty early in the morning and go out and try to do their thing. I hope my iPhone picks up some of the colors. There's like yellow and orange and red. And there's a little Hampton across the way. And this is the mouth of the mighty Atlantic Ocean. I always love this little stretch here, walking along the sand and just cresting this little hill. Now, last year, this hill was a lot steeper, but they brought sand in because they actually had a project where they widened the river or deepened it and down by Salisbury as well. And they brought a bunch of sand in and they kind of filled a lot of this in. But you can see here where some of it's like eroded already and gone down. It looks like the the tide is is it coming in, Joe, you think? And I wonder where I have a funny feeling the sun is gonna come up straight out over there. This thing is not focusing at all. So it's interesting to see how the landscaping changes from one season to another. Jay just mentioned he didn't remember all these rocks here last year. And I don't either, not these little ones. But you know that big one down there, because we've sat there and taken pictures. Ooh, it's windy. So it was so windy last night that the motorhome rocked from the wind all night long. And Jay slept through it, he told me. I couldn't believe it. Men. There's one other person way, way down there. Other than that, there's just us, sand, seagulls, ocean. <laughs> Last night was the most amazing sunset. It was, the colors were just absolutely incredible and I wish that I had planned it, but you know, with dinner and guests and stuff like that and so we were at the campground when the, when the sun set and the sky turned amazing colors that Jay climbed on top of the motorhome. I'm going to check this out. I'll see if I can insert this clip I took last night. Trying to get a good picture?
wondering if the iPhone will even pick up those colors. <laughs> I couldn't believe he climbed up there, but he got some fabulous shots. He really did. And I, I mean, you can just see from my clip how amazing, amazing that sunset was, the colors. I can just imagine if we were someplace where we could really have seen it. I'm sorry for the wind noise. It's pretty windy down here. I have a mic and I am shooting on my iPhone, so I'm hoping that the sound is muffled. And I'm going to turn this back on when I think the sun is coming up. So Jay says another, did you say three minutes or seven minutes? Well, according to my cell phone, it says seven minutes. Seven minutes. Uh -uh. Another seven minutes and my fingers are getting numb. Yeah, it's 48 degrees. 48 degrees. And here she comes. I don't know if you can see. The little golden globe over there, and of course the big boost of sun around her. That is the sunrise on the east coast at Hampton Beach on April 30th. I think it's pretty cool looking. Oops, I zoomed in so you could get a better shot of it. And still hardly, I mean, there's way, way down the end of the beach, I can see someone. And Jay decided to go up. There he goes. He got cold. And he knew it wasn't going to be a dramatic sunrise. It was just going to like pop up just like it is now. Because there's really not that much cloud cover. And a lot of times when there's clouds as long as there's not so many clouds that it obstructs it but just clouds to make it really dramatic and interesting landscape when the sun comes up it's like really phenomenal so on a cloudless sky like and this is pretty cloudless it's almost um, to some people boring but to me it's always amazing there are certainly some sunrises that are just exquisite and then there are some that are just simply beautiful and this is probably just a simply beautiful everyday type of a sunrise over the ocean oh well it is nippy it is 40 some odd degrees 48 degrees and my bare toes are cold I need a pedicure I'm not even going to put my feet in that water. It's just too freezing. So good morning world from Monica McGillicuddy on the East Coast. I don't know when I'll be able to upload this clip, but, and there's a boat out there, fisher boat, fisherman. Everyone is starting to wake up. So the one good thing, Jay, going up earlier is that I'm hoping that when I get up there, <laughs> the coffee will be maybe not done, but almost done. We have one of those Melitas. I don't know if you guys know what they are, but we have a Melita where you boil the water and you get a, like a, a filter cone you put on top and we grind our coffee beans and then you pour the water in. It takes a lot longer to make a pot of coffee like that than an automatic coffee maker. But um, 
for us, it all, it's a great alternative because I like really good coffee and when we camp, we do a lot of dry camping where we might not have electricity, but we always have our gas on in the stove so we can always boil the water. So when we dry camp, it comes in perfect. Now when we're camping like today, having a, you know, one of those coffee makers would be really cool. And there she is. She is up. Yep. So hope you enjoyed my little sunrise. Have a great day.